This review is of the Dabson DBS 2100 Pro. It's 2400 watt output. It's expandable. You can add more units to it and bring it up to a 4600 watt output. It has a semi-solid state LifePo battery, which is supposed to be a bit safer. It does have a one and a half hour fast charge setting, and that requires more than 15 amps. So you would plug that into a 20 amp circuit and you'd be able to charge it to 80% in an hour and a half. One thing I really like is that you can hook it up to 1200 watts of solar. So that would be really good for a cabin. There is an app that you can get for this that'll allow you to do a few more things with it. I'm not an app guy. What I like to do is keep it simple, test the product out, push its limits, maybe even slightly abuse it. That's what we're gonna do today. Let's check it out, let's see what this thing can do. I'm gonna cut out a knife blank on my portaband. I know that's gonna draw some power. Let's see how it handles that job. The other thing is, I'm sure I don't wanna get a lot of dust in this, and I definitely don't wanna get metal shavings. So I'm gonna plug it in with an extension cord and keep it a little ways away from this. I'm going to set the stopwatch to show how long this takes. Got this knife completely cut out. Took 11 minutes and 30 seconds and the power station is still at 94%. Now I forgot to show you how much wattage that portaband draws so let me just run it real quick. Right here You'll watch this number go up and that'll tell you how many watts it's drawing. Next thing I'm gonna try is this belt grinder for grinding knives. Now this thing, I believe it's a two horsepower motor so I can't guarantee it's gonna run it. We'll find out. Power on. Start it down on a slow speed. cool that it'll run the belt grinder, but it wasn't that impressive. Even when it was high speed, under a load, it only drew around 700 watts. So, let's see if I can find something that really draws some power. I think an air compressor would be a good test. One and a half horsepower, 11 gallon. I know this is gonna draw some power. Right now you can see it's empty. And I'll start the stopwatch to show how long it takes to fill it. We're at zero. It took about six minutes and 20 seconds to fill that. I think it bumped up around 1800 watts, so all in all, that's pretty good. I think this planer should be a pretty solid test. I just planed both sides of that cherry several times a side. It drew up to around 1900 watts. We are at 82%. That's a pretty demanding machine. So far, I'm really impressed. Let's try this. I have my knife grinder plugged in with this extension cord. So I'm gonna plug both of these into this. In like so. All right, let's see if it can run every tool in the knife shop all at once. Hold on.
Well, you can see I was really pushing hard on this thing. See how much the steel is burnt. With four machines all running at the same time, I was still able to push hard enough on this to burn the steel black. It was over 2300 watts when it did it too, so I'm pretty impressed with this. The next day, I decided to take the power station to the cabin to cook some food and do as much work as I could, and of course, inflict a little more abuse to it. Let's see how it does today. First thing I'm gonna do is cook some breakfast. This electric griddle is drawing a lot of power, 1,442 watts. So let's see how long this holds up when you're drawing that kind of wattage to cook. My goal today was to try to get as much done as I can and see how long this lasts. The power stations, from what I've found, do really well with power tools because it's a short burst that you're drawing. This is 1,440 watts, constant. It hasn't, it hasn't let up once yet. So it's actually drawing it kind of quick, but this would draw really fast on anything. So we'll see how it goes. Bacon's not the quickest thing to cook, so I'm, I imagine I'll probably draw a lot of the capacity out with this meal. I'll try hooking up the solar panel, maybe see if that can help offset it a little. What I got was a 200 watt solar panel. And one thing I really like about it is this has this kind of hookup for the solar panel. So you've got this on one end and on the other end, you've got these connectors. And these will hook up to most any solar panel, which is really nice because I may use this in, in the future for a camper project. And if I wanted to put hard solar panels on the wall and let them stay there, I could just hook it up with this which would be pretty slick. Right here on the end, it's got your solar. So you've got an AC speed charge, solar slash car input, AC charge, overload protection, and data, which I won't be using data. Anyways, plug that in. And you can see right here, Right here, it's charging 45 watts of solar. Obviously, that's never gonna keep up with 1400 watts going out, but maybe it'll help offset it a little bit. Certain things I think you really take for granted. Anything producing heat uses a lot of power. So stoves, electric heaters, coffee pots, little griddles like this, they draw a lot of power. Right now, it's still doing really well though. It's at 86% of the battery life. It's still charging, eh, you know what, it, it's dropped down a little bit, 19 watts, but I'm kind of late in the day. So overall, so far it's doing a great job. Uh, I'm probably gonna make a pot of coffee after this. I don't know if, you know, I think it can probably do it. I'm gonna see if I can make a pot of coffee while this is cooking. Hopefully, hopefully it can put out that many watts. Right, I'm not sure what it takes. Okay, this just kicked off because it's cycling. So this is drawing 640 watts. You can see between the coffee pot and the electric griddle, it's putting out 2,062 watts. It's dropped down to 83%. All right, my half a pot of super strong coffee is done. So I shut that off. Still at 78% over here. Breakfast has been cooking for probably about 20 minutes. All right, my breakfast is finished. I'm gonna say that cooked probably about 25 minutes straight. Drawing, most of the time it was about 1400 watts. For a while there it was about 2060 watts. And it's now only down to 71%, which is pretty darn good drawing that much wattage for that long a time. After I'm done eating breakfast, we're gonna get some work done. Well, apparently I forgot to hit record. I'm running this jointer off of the power station. It started at 71%, now it's down to 67%. I've jointed two boards, two passes each side. I can say for certain, that I had a harder time with that than the power station did. Those eight foot boards are really hard to keep level on that joiner. 
But anyways, I think I'm losing track. I think we started at 71%. Now we're down to 57%. I joined at this entire stack of lumber. Both sides, at least two passes a side. When the joiner's running a constant speed when it's not under load, it's running around 580 to 600 watts. When it goes under a heavy load, when you're really pushing the board into it, it jumps up around 1,000. So that was a lot of work, and so far it's really doing well. Full. It did better running that than I did because I got my butt kicked and the shop vac's full. So, on to the next project. Let's push this thing some more. The next thing on my list is this birch tree. I've got a little electric chainsaw. I don't remember exactly what it draws for wattage. We'll find out. cut up this entire pile of wood with a saw that probably is meant for stuff like that big around. The saw did not like it. The power station didn't struggle at all. I was really, really forceful with that saw just to see what it'd do. And uh, I think the saw was screaming for mercy, but this thing could easily run something a lot bigger. Right now we're sitting at 43%. I have cooked breakfast. I ran seven 2x12s through the joiner, at least four times a board. Ran the shop back a little bit, and I cut up this pile of wood. So, so far I'm pretty impressed. We're still sitting at 42% of a charge. I really thought it'd be a lot lower than that. I figured I would have used a lot more with all the work I did. So I'm gonna cook some dinner. A little bit of sawdust in my griddle. That's all right though. That one's for Charlie. That one's for me. Guess I'll let this cook and sweep up all this mess. With these burgers finished cooking, the power station still has 29% of its charge left. So today I cooked breakfast and dinner, ran seven 2x12s through the joiner multiple times per board, and cut up a good sized pile of wood. Not a bad day at all. Well I think that wraps up my test of this product. I pretty much abused it non-stop for a couple of days straight, and it's done really well. I can't think of anything it would not run. Oh wait, there was one thing I tried running that this wouldn't run. That was an electric wood splitter, but that's an electric hydraulic machine. I guarantee that probably draws 5,000 watts just to start it because it has to spin the motor and pressurize the cylinder. And it wouldn't run that, but that's not very surprising. All in all, it's done a great job. The solar panel, while it's very nicely constructed, it's got nice fabric, nice solid construction, good connectors. I really didn't get to test it as well as I would have liked because we didn't have the greatest sunny day and I was kind of late in the day but overall all together I'd say this is a nice product I really liked it hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon I've got another project in the works that's really gonna be cool thanks for watching see you next time